Nepenthes lowii is one of my all-time favorite tropical pitcher plants, or Nepenthes. It's native to Borneo, um, where it occurs on several mountains, but only at high elevation. It makes it a very tricky plant to grow, actually. So we have them down here by our giant evaporative cooler, which acts like a radiator on your car, basically. So it keeps it very cool here, even on hot days. Um, they like to stay below 75 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and then dropping down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Fahrenheit at night. We're here in Sonoma County where we have uh, coastal fog that comes in every night, which cools our temperatures off and makes it uh, easier for us to grow than if you're someplace where you don't have that. Um, most of you have probably seen the David Attenborough uh, documentary or maybe me talking about it, but once they get to a certain age, they make these upper pitchers that are shaped like a toilet and designed to lure in a tree shrew in Borneo, a very special rodent. And it eats that white exudate that the plant makes. That's how it lures it in. It's not really sweet, maybe a little sweet. It's more like an oily uh, coconut oil kind of a lure. But uh, the shrew, you know, just eats that up. And while it's sitting there, it poops into the pitchers. Uh, that one that Daniela is showing you is probably the largest Nepenthes loi upper I've ever seen. It's certainly the largest one we've ever grown here. And uh, we have about six of them making upper pitchers now. The fill up pan down over there, there's my really big plant. That plant is about 21 years old and has about three feet of vine on it. Uh, the one that we were just showing you is actually only about 12 years old. So it seems to be a more vigorous clone than your typical one. It's the Pithys loei is one of the most fascinating treasures in the botanical world and it's really hard to grow so I just wanted to show it off today while I had it out. <laughs>